What are you? And we are off with one shot, one kill. I admit this series has never failed me on entertainment and plot twist. That's right, this is the first episode. Get it open. On it. Hey, you think he's gonna show? He'll bring the whole goddamn place down. Stay focused! We'll be out of here before anyone can stop us. You know, I would never want to live in Gotham because there's always some bullshit that's happening. Damn! Christ. Move in! Even though this is the first episode, already it's getting crazy, and I love it. Back, get back! Damn. Gordon, they're on the 52nd floor. I'm going in. Hey, wait, wait for backup. No. Nope. Don't need it. Cause I'm Batman. I heard stories, you know. Sent three home in an ambulance. The rest in body bags. No wonder the cops want him dead. Hey, you ever seen him? Yeah, Gotham Zoo. With all the other flying animals. My boy Batman getting ready to kick some ass. Alright, let's go. Knowing Batman, he definitely wants you to see. Because he wants to make a grand entrance. Just because. Him, screaming like a little bitch. That's right. I'm Batman. Damn. Bruce, you can't keep doing this. I have to. <laughs> no one else will. Every drop of blood, everything you've sacrificed, the city is safer now. Is it though? You a target. And people will keep you in the crosshairs until you're shot out of the sky. Criminals in this city. <laughs> they need something to fear. Damn, blood on the furniture, Bruce. Come Shit. on, buddy. The hell did he go? Whatever got in, don't let it get out. I do enjoy the animation of this video game. It has a nice characteristic to it. And it makes me even more immersed into the game because I am like in awe with the cinematics. Come on. There you What's go. Bada boom, bada bang. Let's go. Bye bye. Back to Damn. back. Circle up. He's like the predator, bro. I love this. All right, let's go. Play time's over. <laughs> He's getting them one by one. I love this. Classic Batman. Anyways. Damn. I know you're trying to create a myth, but be careful you don't turn into a monster. Hmm. Sometimes you need a monster. Damn, Bruce, okay. Come on! Come on! Come on! Damn, I forgot he got bulletproof armor. Damn. 
Get it, Bruce! Get it! Damn, I think he's knocked out. So who's gonna swing? Damn. Damn. Woo! I forgot this game involves me doing quick actions like this. I'm gonna suck. I know it. I'm gonna miss out on an important one. And I'm just gonna fuck it up. I have a feeling. Shit! There you go. Damn! He bitch slapped him! R2, come on, come on, come on! There you go. I think you made a point, Batman. <gasps> Didn't your mother teach you to knock? Selena Kyle. Behind you, big boy. Huh? Fuck. Payday. Oh. Huh, that's what you're after, that's cool. Thank God for slow motion, because I would have just slacked off. Here, kitty kitty. Oh shit. Damn, she's slick as fuck. Uh, how come they didn't say anything? They should've done their voice line, like, what the fuck? If you want to be intimidating, you're succeeding. Criminals are becoming afraid of you, so are the police. It's a scare tactic, Al. Just a performance. A performance that you are playing a little too well, Bruce Wayne. When will you realize... Not a scratch. So far. Oh, shit. That doesn't belong to you. I was wondering if we'd cross paths. You broke the law. Here I am. <laughs> Cut the shit. The law. Don't tell me that's why you do all this. Squeeze into a suit, tie on a cape. Most people dressed up like that end up in Arkham. Gotham needs a hero. Someone to hunt down people like you. So that makes me, what, a villain? Sounds fun. Gotta admit it, though. You give a good chase. One day you might actually catch me. Tonight. Don't you know not to corner a wild animal? It's dangerous. Then let's put you in a cage. Um, that's cliche, Bring it but back. okay. Damn, and she got claws. Oh lord. Oh lord. Woo! Okay. Oh shit. Damn. This is some really intense fighting, bro. And the whoops! Woo! Oh shit. Damn. Damn, damn, damn! Come on! Okay. Let's go. Come on, kitty. Let's go! Meow, meow! Damn. My bad, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to punch you that hard. Ooh, I deserve that. The news, really? Nah, nah, fam. Come on, come on. Shit. Woo! She almost clawed me. Alright, let's go. Damn, I just tackled the shit out of her. Oh, what the fuck? R2! R2! Got you! Astro Nemo. Come here, little kitty cat. Meow! Oh shit, really? God interrupt me. Wait, wait, wait! Do not shoot! Oh shit! And she's still trying to fight me. Come on, stop it. Stop. Stop. Woo! Whew. This is intense. There you go. There you go. Like, it's crazy. And I got your little machine that you tried to take. 
there you go. Why go to all that trouble for this? Shit! A myth can't be killed. You, however, are flesh and blood. What the fuck? God damn it! Dumb ass bitch! <laughs> Fucking no, whore! Wait. Who the fuck's home in the fucking shoe? Come on, Bruce. Oh shit. Oh, I missed. Oh. Okay. Yo. Hey, yo. Please let me catch her. Please. There you go. Come on, Selena. You think I'm gonna let you die? Ooh, this sucks. Ooh. Shit. Alright, uh, right now it's time to wake up. Because... I can only hold you for so long, Selena. Come on. Wake up, kitty. Come on. Wake up. Uh, guess I was wrong about you catching me. Not sure if it was for my sake. Or yours. <laughs> Don't struggle or you'll fall. No, but that's what you crave. The struggle. Oh, no. I know men like you. Uh, no, you don't. That's toxicity. Not bad. Ooh, right in the face. She toxic as fuck. Damn. And I got shot. I got scratched and shot. What the fuck? Damn. Step out of the shadows and be Bruce Wayne tonight. Oh, that's a much harder fight. Don't let tombstones be your family legacy. Thanks, Alfred. Whoa. I know you care. Time to save the city. Wow. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, everyone. A humble district attorney like myself is not used to such a ringing endorsement. Even one who cut Gotham's crime rate in half. Now, for too long, this city has burned with corruption and greed under Mayor Hill's authority. But I promise you, a vote for Harvey Dent is a vote to finally put your foot down. And together, we can stamp out the fire and save our great city. <laughs> Go, best friend. That's my Only friend Mr. right Wayne, there. My campaign's largest backer could have heard that applause. He would sh Well, there he is. Fashionable <laughs> and fashionably late as always. Talking shit, I see. Say hi, Bruce. Welcome to Wayne Manor, everyone. My apologies for the late arrival. Oh, not to worry, Mr. Wayne. We've all made ourselves very comfortable. Thank you. Thank you again, everyone, for your unwavering support. Together, we will change Gotham. <laughs> Mr. Wayne, thank you for opening your house to us. Anytime. Now, I know this is the biggest mansion in Gotham, but I don't think you got lost on your way here. <laughs> Where were you? I know you prefer the brooding billionaire angle. So the sooner we make nice with the donors, the sooner everyone will leave you alone. Just wanted to make an entrance. Congratulations, you almost missed it. Mm. You are a pillar of this city and my campaign. I need you here, tuxedoed and shaking hands. Okay, okay. No one came here tonight to see me. Some champagne. They want to see the Bruce Wayne, am I right? <laughs> and I can see him just fine from here. This shouldn't be painful. It's not a kidney stuff. It's only a little face time with potential donors. Your face, specifically, with a mouth that's saying, Support Harvey Dent. We're the grease. They're the wheels. And they're rolling in enough cash and votes to help make Gotham a place for families again. Ah, a little liquid courage before facing your adoring public? Nah, I just don't really care about politics. Too, Once I've turned this city around as mayor, you'll be a hero for funding my campaign. Now all I need is a decent slogan. I'm terrible at those. It always makes me sound like a used car salesman. 
All right, all right, all right. How about, uh, put a dent in crime? Hmm? Look at you. It's not half bad. You're welcome. I'm gonna use that. Bruce, I meant what I said. Together, you and me, we change Gotham. A city free from crime, where children can play in the streets again. That's what I want too, Harvey, but you know how rough it is out there. We have to shake things up to make that happen. Well, we can start with a few hands, hmm? Come on. Okay, I guess I'll play nice, whatever. Just for reputation purposes. Fancy dinner? Or lack of dinner. I don't see any food here. Just drinks. Oh, and then there's a Mr. Drunk. Wayne, I'd like to introduce you to Bob and Regina Zellerbach. Of course I know these two. Hello, Bruce. Regina here is the chairwoman of Wayne Enterprises, and her husband voted for Mayor Hill last time. I'll admit it, Mr. Wayne. I don't know Mr. Dent from a pothole on Main Street. Damn. But I trust your family. If you believe in Dent, we believe in you. After all, whoever you support is a reflection on you. And we mm. trust someone like you to lead this city to greatness. <laughs> well, I'm flattered, truly, but this night is about getting Harvey Dent elected so he can fix those potholes. Huh. I think I speak for half the room when I say politicians are puppets. Oh, come on now, Bob. I'm not a politician. I'm a crusader. Hmm? No strings attached. Old families like ours should flock together, you know. Like birds. Right. You're preaching, dear. No, it's true. The Waynes and Zellerbachs are reminders of the golden age of Gotham. Oh, this city's luster faded years ago, Mr. Dent. Look at Gotham now. Murder in the streets, corruption in City Hall, that Cape Bat freak dealing out vigilante justice like it's the wild goddamn West. At oh, least he's getting rid of the criminals, golden though. age, seems you're getting cranky in yours. Ooh. There's always hope. Look Forgive at that. me for being blunt, but one man can't save this city. Who? And it's a dangerous mentality to think so. That's how you get creeps like this Batman. Harvey Dent is our best shot. Put him in a room with anyone for 15 minutes, and that grin will win him over. He's gonna yeah. need more than that, son. Oh, it hasn't been 15 minutes yet, Bob. We've still got time. Uh, don't worry, though. I am not doing this alone. And with Bruce's help, we're replacing the dangerously unsecure Arkham Asylum with a state-of-the-art mental health facility to help Gotham's most at-risk individuals. It will be dedicated to Thomas and Martha Wayne in the hopes that their fate Will never be repeated. Oh, I After see their guilty all your faces. Did for this city. Mm -hmm. To be killed in a botched robbery in some alleyway. Yeah, thanks to the reminder. Yep. Truly terrible. Truly. Uh, a tragedy like that at such a young age must have been crippling. I mean, I'm right Only here, and you're acting like I'm not deranged here. Deranged man had gotten the right treatment. Maybe. Uh, well, I don't like to think about maybes, and I'm sure you don't either. Well, thank you. I wish my parents could be here speaking with you, too. And thank you, Bruce, for investing in the health of this city's future. You have our support, Mr. Dent. Go get him. We're on our way. Damn. Almost had a therapy session right there. <laughs> Not saying I doubted you, but that went better than expected. It is a night of ringing endorsements. What the hell is that noise? That's the music? Dead ass? Well, hello. Harvey Dent, Gotham's next mayor, and eager to know you. Vicki Vale, not interested, and reporter for the Gotham Gazette. This is a private fundraiser, Miss Vale. No reporters allowed. Well, you don't mind if I stay and ask a few questions, do you, Mr. Wayne? Well, you can ask me whatever you want at the press conference tomorrow. Actually, I'm here for Mr. Wayne. Tonight is strictly off the record. We can talk, but nothing gets written down. I'm okay with that. Oh, I was okay. just hoping to see what makes Bruce Wayne tick. Why? What do you want to know? This is quite the social event, Mr. Wayne. Oh, come on now. It's so formal. Call me Bruce. Well, <laughs> Bruce, you've been going around pleasing everyone tonight. Do you but want to get pleased too? How are you doing? Damn, how am I doing? You enjoy your own party before all the champagne runs out. Well, I'm doing better now that you're here. 
Well, I'll tell you, if all these stuffed shirts weren't around, I'd give you the private tour. Mmm, there you go. Mr. Wayne, you've... you've got something on your collar. Oh. Um, is that blood? Yeah. It looks like... Oh, this? No, that's nothing. It's just, uh... Cut myself shaving. What? Your butler didn't help you this time? Hey, no, kidding. he did not. Kidding. Mm -hmm. Fucking bastard. I do excuse me, Master Bruce, but uh, another guest has arrived. I'm sure they'll find the bar. You may want to greet this one personally, sir. Why would I? Carmine Falcone? What Is the, the Dent campaign soliciting votes from Gotham's biggest crime family? Falcone's never been convicted of anything except being a businessman who loves this city. Excuse us, Miss Vale. Okay. <laughs> and so, what kind of business do you think he's in? The one that controls enough votes to get me into City Hall. Really? This you is the really... necessary evil of politics, Bruce. It's in the service of a better Gotham for all of us. Mm. At least hear him out before you kick him out. Falcone requested to speak with you directly. Jesus, Why? Man, inviting a known criminal to your fundraiser? Yeah, doesn't bro. Doesn't exactly look good for your squeaky clean image. Yeah, you're fucking desperate. Let me worry about that. You're doing. Oh my morning, god. Bruce. What? Play nice. Fuck off. Yeah, I'm not gonna play nice to some shithead. Decent walk up, sky high ceilings, plenty of room for my cars. I think I'll take it. Though the decor offends my eyes. Oh, man, all flash, no class. My family built this house. It's not for sale. Everything's for sale, Mr. Wayne. And everyone. So you should Just buy yourself some... the right currency. Come on, Falcone. Thank you for welcoming me into your home. Everyone You're is... a respectable man, I hear. No, I'm not. You can fuck off. Gentlemen, perhaps we'll all be more comfortable in the parlor. Follow me, if you will. You came in my house, insult me, and then expect me to give you a handshake? You should know, Mr. Falcone. Fucking my dick. analysts say we're raising triple what Mayor Hill had... I just love how the You'll dialogue is not being there. repeated. I saw plenty of skirts to keep you busy for a few minutes. Harvey stays with us. A man's home is his castle. I respect that. Good. Come on, Harvey. Seen and not heard. Whatever I, I, you... What did I say? Thank you. Mr. Fucking District dick. Attorney here wants to make sure the rules are followed. But in my experience, there's the law, and there's doing what's right. You okay. understand? And I'd rather see Harvey actually help this city instead of just say he will. Unlike most people I've met, Harvey actually has integrity. He's trying to make Gotham a better place. Unlike you. So am I. So are you. Are you hey, sure we about all that? carry this city on our broken backs. Might lighten the load if we do so together. Hmm. So, what's your point? I ain't hit a chinwag about politics, Mr. Wayne. Gives me a digestion. I got enough of that as is. Okay. So, let's talk relationship. All right. Finally, got to the fucking point. Chalk this for me. Be a pal. I can get Harvey the mayor's seat, or I can pull it out from under him. How about you do it yourself, big boy? Whatever happened to being a gracious host? You came in my home, okay, acting like a dick. This is me. You can fuck off. And these are all my friends in Gotham. The businesses, restaurants, clubs, docks, unions, politicians. Fuck playing nice. If Harvey gets elected. Then 
that's why I came here tonight to your lovely home, hoping to make a new friend. One who can help Mr. Dent see the light, if need be. Yeah, that's not happening. Hey, this isn't a deal with the devil. So why does it feel like it is? You listen to me, kid. I know, somewhere inside that tuxedo, you understand this situation. Money me? gets money. The risks, the alliances, the hidden costs. Your father knew which hands to shake. And you're bringing my pops in, too. And which to break. Don't you dare talk about my father. You're getting worked up over nothing. <laughs> Hell, I knew him longer than you did. People don't say no to me. Well, I do, so suck Not a for dick. Long. Thank God Alfred's Master here. Master Bruce, your guests are leaving. I recommend seeing them out. You wouldn't want to be rude. You're right. Let's go. Get the fuck out my house. Heed your butler's advice, kid. Oh, and I'm no longer interested in buying the house. The owner's a prick. Good. And he's gonna get what's coming to him. And I can't fucking wait. Now, with this game, the only reason why I decided to play this specific series is because it's been a while since I've played a video game where it relies on it's the me. choices you make. I know I did Heavy Rain and Detroit Become Human a couple seasons ago, but I feel like it's been a long time since I had a game like that, so why not play it? And like I mentioned before, Whatever choices you make in this game, it affects the whole game. And I love games like that. It's like a video game version of Choose Your Own Adventure. And that's why I love games like Detroit Become Human. Because of the fact that I control the narrative of this story. And I feel like you guys would love Batman the Telltale series because of that specific aspect of the game. Wow, he kept the tickets of the night that his parents died. That's insane. After a break in at City Hall. But thanks to the efforts of the Batman, the stolen items were returned. Not all of them. Let's see what she was really after. Ooh, I see you, Bruce. Hmm. Interesting. Thank you for watching. This is Lover of Ladies, and I'll see you next week.